Hello, this is Dr. Alexi. Welcome back. Uh, I would like to now uh, explain to you a bit more for the same, the LabVIEW uh, washing machine program that was used earlier to describe to you how it controlled the full wash cycle for the washing machine. But now, uh, having seen the front panel of the program, I will now take you to the block diagram. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tile left and right and I'm going to show you the full block diagram as you can see over here. So uh, now what happened is that uh, this particular uh, washing machine con uh, program, controller program was actually designed using the, uh, the, the Q state machine uh, application program that we have learned earlier, right? In the, the, in the case of a traffic light controller, which we use also. Now, uh, what happened is that uh, in this particular uh, uh, washing machine controller, I've created an enum. So you notice that, wow, it could be quite uh, a bit, uh, quite a fair bit of or number of uh, states, uh, as you can see over here. So let me zoom in and show you. These are the, the enum states that I've created. All right. So uh, if I zoom in for you, now I have the idle and wait state. I have the start. I have the initialize. I have the fill water, wash, delay wash cycle. I could stop for wash, drain water, rinse, delay rinse cycle, uh, stop for rinse cycle, dry, delay dry cycle, stop, and then follow by the last one, which is the buzzer. Right. So this was created as a type definition uh, enum enumerated controller. So to begin, I have the, uh, if you recall, what is this, right? So this is the uh, create queue function. Then I have uh, the next one is called the, let's take a look, let's switch on the label. This is obtain queue, right? So I may actually move this to the, to the side, right? And uh, over here, I have this item called the end queue, okay? Now, you also notice that I have a couple of uh, two, actually just two, uh, two uh, so-called program, which I've enclosed it into a sub-BI. So this is the one where I mentioned earlier where we can control the mode and the speed. Lah. So basically, I've, we have created a small program and encapsulate into a sub-BI where we can control the modes and the speed of the washing machine. So if I may just uh, double click on this uh, particular sub VI, so you can see that it is nothing really uh, very special. It is just a, a DAQ uh, assistant, which uh, we have control the pins. Uh. So if I double click on this DAQ assistant, you can uh, observe and see uh, the pins that I'm controlling. So I'm actually just looking at uh, digital output, uh, uh, 0, 1, 2, to 3. So if I click on this detail, you can see that these are the four uh, uh, port 0 that I'm trying to control. I have four port, uh, four port using port 0. So from line 0, line 1, line 2, line 3, yeah? as you can see over here, right? which was earlier this, this described to you in the lab sheet. Eh? So I'm using uh, device one, port zero, line zero, all the way to line zero to li all the way to line three. So these are the four lines that I've used, and I'm sending the the the, the digital boolean signal. Okay, to control both either the mode and the speed of the washing machine. So I'm going to close this for now. I'm going to explain uh, to you the next part. Then also I have this particular uh, small sub VI called the water level. So basically this one will read the digital input. So if I were to double click on this program, as you can see over here, so the front panel and the block diagram, basically what I'm trying to do is that I will double click on this DAQ assistant to uh, expand and illustrate a bit. I'm actually using, I uh, double clicked on this, I'm actually using device one port one line one. This is to indicate the uh, water level, uh, water level uh, indicator. This was actually also described to you earlier in the lab sheet explanation. So this will uh, let us know, okay, what is the uh, water level? Is it high or is it low? So if it's 
if it's a logic high then logic high will indicate there's water or if it's logic zero to indicate there's low water okay so this is just to illustrate to you a two small programs that we have created now this is the initial part where the you will notice that in this this particular queue uh, state machine controller you have also have the stop button all right the stop button now this stop button is used to control the while loop as the, as you can see there's actually a while loop here that encase encloses the whole program so the stop button is con is sent to is con is connected to the loop condition terminal here so if the user at any point in time click the stop button this while loop will terminate but in the condition when the user did not click the stop button right so you notice that i have a case structure here which is here is showing the false case so in the false case it will just dequeue the elements from the queue the queue function as you can see over here right so the output of this is actually the state all right the state eh? so you can imagine the very first state eh? okay you'll be guessing what is the first state right the first state is actually the first which is this state here we we'll call the idle and wait because you already enqueued this has the first element in the enqueue function over here so in the so when you the first program first starts it will dequeue whatever that you put into the queue so the output from here will be the first element called the idle and wait then you will come to this case structure this uh case structure now also notice that my program has this little function called the format into string let's see carefully yeah format into string so basically the idea is that because the output of this is a, a type definition enum right yeah so you can use this format into string to display the status uh, of the washing machine right using this uh, string uh, indicator here so if i may double click on this it will bring me to this uh, indicator on the front panel okay called the washing states huh? all right then also i have this water level indicator right this water level indicator is actually this indicator over here okay so the program can then proceed to the first state which is the idle and wait huh? in the idle and wait uh, i have actually incorporated an event structure over here now you also earlier learned what is an event structure right so in this event structure what it does is that uh, it will wait for the user to click on the start button okay so i've created a button where's the start button the start button is over here okay now this start button once the user has clicked on the uh, event start button right this event uh, enum state will be enqueued into this function right called the uh, enqueue element okay so you'll be enqueued into the uh, element and then so that uh, on the next iteration this uh, the queue function will be able to dequeue the element from the queue that was enqueued earlier so that this case can proceed now also you will notice that for my washing cycles here okay uh, this time around i've actually used the uh, an array you can see that i have an array of uh, three elements right uh, let me see uh, it, it should be four actually eh? but apparently the fourth one is not being used uh. i think there's another state here yeah with the fourth one is not being used anyway so uh, technically you are just using three elements over here lah, to indicate the the uh, what do you call that the washing cycle you can actually just add this if you need to lah. but for now i think uh, three element is fine yeah as you can see so the washing element, uh, washing cycles are can be indicated by sending a array of boolean to to the indicator over here. And also, I have used a uh, local variable to indicate the actions. Uh. So these actions are the part that you need to consider. So assuming that the program hits start, right, it will go to the next state, which is the start. Right. So let's take a look at what start. Eh. Now in the start uh, state, uh, you actually don't need three. Uh, yeah, you, the washing machine will go to the state called initialize, right? So this you enqueue the initialize into the enqueue element, uh, okay? The uh, enqueue element function here. At the same time, the washing machine can be controlled uh, to the uh, modes and the speed. Uh. 
So to begin, I'm still having false, 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 which means that uh, the washing machine is at uh, zero, zero. Uh, the speed is zero, zero. Nothing happens here. Okay, it's not washing or anything. So you go to the uh, initialize. So let's take a look at initialize. Okay, I'm moving to you step by step. Now in the initialize state, okay, the the washing machine, uh, the action is to fill water, right? You're going to tell the program to fill water because when you first start up the washing machine, the washing machine is empty. It has no water in it. So uh, you're supposed to fill in water. So the fill in fill water state is enqueued into the enqueue element here. As you can see, enqueue element. So upon the next iteration, the, the, the fill water element or the state will be dequeued. And this washing machine uh, controller will go to the next state, which is the fill water. Okay, fill water. So let's take a look at fill water and see what happens. Now, there's a bit of things going on here. So what happened is that in the uh, fill water state, <coughs> now what is interesting is that uh, an action has been uh, uh, indicated on the uh, front panel string uh, on the on the front panel. Uh, action string here where you can fill in a text called fill water so this is just to indicate to the operator or the user that you need to flick the switch on the controller board itself now at the same time uh, i've used a select function over here right because the water level you need to you let your daq read the water level input huh? remember earlier i mentioned about the uh, port one line one right you're going to read from the water level state so to, to see whether there's water, uh, whether is it logic, a high state or a low state. So if uh, how it works is that if the water level is in the low state, still low, then this select function will take in this state called the fill water. You will still uh, position yourself such that you will continuously continue on in the same state called fill water. So you're asking that you, you will continue to persist in the state called fill water. Then you enqueue it into here. Now notice that what we are in now, we, we are in the fill water state. Eh? So this is the very critical part here where you will so-called decide, the program will then decide uh, whether to fill water or go to the next state, go to the wash state. But that will be determine whether the water level is high or low. right? So this is the conditional part. Okay, It's quite critical over here. And also you should try to understand this part here. Right, so the water level will determine the next state, whether to go to the wash or the fill water based on the function called the select function over here. So now, earlier you saw in the program itself, I uh, actually had that LED blink, right? So actually, uh, what we did was we actually sent the washing cycles. These are basically your uh, LEDs. Uh, these are the LEDs. So basically what we did was we created a local variable. So this is just... A local variable of the same LED so we put the first one as the wash mode remember so what I did was I put a true here because remember your LED is uh, the first one is this one here right so remember earlier the program was blinking right this part now if you have forgotten how the thing works maybe you can revisit just now the earlier video but what is happening over here is that uh, I'm just doing this uh, uh, so-called uh, uh, stack uh, stack sequence structure here just to do a blinking continuous blink of the LED which is the wash LED right so you can see that I've, uh, after I've turned it on okay going back to the first one I enable it turn it on I waited for 200, 200 millisecond then I switch it off again then I wait again for another 200 millisecond so this process will continuously repeat eh? okay the blinking part I will continuously repeat at the same time, the program also will be sending the logic signal to the uh, washing machine. Uh. So you have false, true, true, false. Uh. So you have to look up that table to see what it means. Eh. So but basically, you are sending the mode. So false, true will be the wash mode. Uh. Then uh, the, uh, the true, false here is to tell the speed. Eh. All right. So you, can, uh, you need to look up that table again eh, to explain. So after assuming that the user have uh, clicked on, put in the uh, button, uh, switch on the button for the fill water, you will go to the wash state. So let's take a look and examine what is the wash state. Now in the wash cycle, 
right? Uh, this display will be uh, enabled if there's a one second delay here. And at the same time, you also will indicate on the LED, yeah? the LED which is through the first uh, LED there. And then we'll go on to the delay wash cycle. Right, so you will control appropriately the uh, washing machine, uh, the DAQ, the output part. And we can proceed to the next one called delay wash cycle. So let's take a look at what is this uh, delay wash cycle. Uh, if you go to delay wash cycle, this is what happens. Yeah, so basically the washing machine will wash for a period of 12 seconds. Uh, 12 seconds. So, but anyway, this timing can be set. Uh, whether is it 12 seconds or 15 seconds or X number of seconds is fine. So it's determined by the controller here. Alright. So uh, and then after that, after the washing is done, then you will proceed to the next state called stop for wash cycle. Okay, so which I'm going to take you to the next state, stop for wash cycle. So in the stop for wash cycle again, uh, because over here, uh, you will then uh, after the wash cycle, right, you're going to the rinse. But before rinse, you need to have make sure that the water is being drained out. So therefore, we have created a state call here, whereby we will ask the, uh, there are some action that need to be done by the operator, which is to control the water level switch to simulate uh, the water level switch. So we ask the user to uh, drain the water. Right Again, uh, what is this frame here, stack sequence structure, basically it's just a small stack sequence structure just to blink the second uh, LED, which is the rinse, uh, okay, the second one, which is this one here, we'd expect this thing will be blinking. Earlier was uh, the blinking was done here, right? Yeah, now the blinking is done over here. So the rinse part here is will control the uh, LED to blink. So this is the portion of the code that controls the blinking portion. Uh. And at the same time, uh, as I say, the critical portion here is this part here because it tells the program what to do in the next part. So it will drain water, right? So assuming that the program has drained water, it will go to the next state. Uh. So drain water. So after uh, when the there's a short one, sec one second delay, so you go to the rinse, right? So in the rinse water, then you uh, do the same thing. You ask the program to uh, fill in the water and then also you continue to uh, do the blinking. At the same time now, you will then decide what is the water level status because you asked to fill water, right? So if the water level is high, then you will proceed to the next state. So the next state is delay rinse cycle. Okay, so this is the part where you will delay your rinse cycle. Okay, then you will control the LEDs, appropriate LEDs on the front panel and you wait for, uh, say, a 12 second time delay here. Alright, so once the 12 second de time delay is up, then you proceed to the next one called stop for rinse cycle. Alright, so let's take a look here. We have stop for rinse cycle. Now, the process actually still repeats. Huh? So after the stop for rinse cycle, you will drain the water. Okay. And then you will do the uh, the next part uh, because you are going to proceed to the dry state. Eh? So assuming that the user have uh, uh, drain off the water, right? Then you can go to the dry state. Eh? Right. So let me just uh, push forward a bit. So in the dry state now, do remember that you need to control the LEDs. Uh, remember the LED the wash cycle. So you have to control individual of these uh, LEDs here. And also the drying part. Uh. So you will delay the dry cycle. Okay, you proceed to the next state, which is the delay dry cycle. Alright, over here. So where by over here, you will, uh, I've just controlled arbitrarily, say put a 10 second delay here. Okay, and at the same time, you can control the mode. Uh. Important, you have to coordinate driving the mode and the speed of the controller board itself. And then finally, when all is done, then you go to the, you will enqueue the stop state. Okay, in the stop state, what happens is that uh, you will come to here and you will stop everything. You will uh, display the LED with the appropriate uh, booleans as well as stop the washing machine controller. And then you can maybe proceed to one last state, which is the buzzle part. Uh. You can uh, enqueue the buzzle state. Okay. So that, uh, let's see if I show you, okay, if we go to the Basel state, uh, if we go on to the Basel state, 
then this is what happens. Eh? Okay, in the Basel state, you can trigger the uh, Basel to switch on. Uh, okay, to turn on because we are using the analog output. Uh. Okay, let me let me take a look. We are using the uh, AO analog output channel one output. Oh, sorry, sorry. Uh, let me. I beg your pardon. Uh. We are using the AO zero analog output channel zero output. Uh. So we can configure this as the Basel output, which is the AO uh, analog output channel zero. So we can uh, use a stack sequence here to uh, on off the Basel so that you can hear the beeping sound. And at the same time, the last part is just to indicate on the uh, front panel here, the action part uh, where we say that we finish washing. So ev when everything is done already, when all the washing state, I've just taken you through the entire process eh, until to the last state when you have the Basel. Then the program should enqueue back to the original uh, so-called uh, idle and wait state uh, in which you will then wait for the next event to happen eh? right so you enqueue back to the idle and wait so that uh, over here if you go back to here then you will just have to wait for the next iteration or the next uh, event that happens okay else uh, if the user clicks on the stop button the entire program will just stop correct or you can just proceed to run the uh, washing machine for another set another cycle for another full cycle all right so it's quite a lengthy process but uh, i think if you were to really go through this program yourself uh, very slowly okay and or the best even is to create this program for your on your own eh? and then you try it out on your the, the washing machine controller board i think it will be excellent learning that may take place eh? so i think with that i would uh, stop the video recording so I would encourage you to uh, replay and revisit this video again and then also to look at the earlier videos to have an appreciation and understanding of how the uh, QSM or the Q state machine program works for this uh, washing machine controller. Alright, so uh, with that, uh, I thank you, thank you for watching this video.